but I'm gonna go ahead and do what I promised and I'm gonna take my ass home, you know. <laughs> lifestyle lovers welcome back to se lifestyle if you are new here welcome my name is erica my channel is called se lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle honey today is friday i just decided that i was gonna go ahead and start the weekend vlog um it's friday morning and i'm getting ready to head into the office i just got off a call with my team that possibly we will be heading back in the office on a permanent basis which is kind of confusing because COVID is still lingering in the world but whatever I just wanted to jump on start the vlog tell you guys happy Friday cheers to this three-day weekend for those who are off on Monday for MLK day but um I've already had breakfast I mainly wanted to tell you guys about the Starbucks Impossible Breakfast Sandwich. If you have not had it, you have to try it. It is so good. It is the Impossible Breakfast Sandwich and the meat is meatless. And it comes with egg and cheese on like a bun, but it's real good. I didn't finish it all. I have a small portion left. And then I tried the new uh, pistachio Starbucks drink, which I heard it was not sweet. So I did ask the barista how I could make it sweeter. And he added a, a pump of the classic uh, syrup. So I guess it's a little sweet, but I like my stuff like real, real sweet. So um, I don't know what's on the agenda today, but right now, it's nothing but work so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my workday lifestyle lovers and i'll check back in a little later Trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the hygiene. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on high and heat is. I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be
morning lifestyle lovers happy saturday so today is saturday it is the second day of the weekend vlog and i am off to an early start i woke up this morning i am so motivated and ready to get my day started so i've already pretty much as you can see got up got myself together I'm ready to walk out the door. I'll tell you guys where we're going once I get in the car. I just wanted to go ahead and share the outfit of the day, honey. Most of you know by now that it's all about comfort with me. So I have on a champion sweatshirt. It's kind of wrinkled because I didn't iron it. And then I have on some jeans. I believe these are Fashion Nova. And then I have on some champion tennis shoes. Kind of like the sock type of tennis shoes I think they're Mookie's too I can't remember if I bought these for me or him and then for my bag today I am rocking my Fendi crossbody I have not worn this in a while so I just decided to pull it out and rock it for today I am still going to carry my MCM bag as you can see the one that's hanging on my closet door that's my everyday bag it's so durable and I love that bag. So I'm just going to take that and just put it in the trunk, you know, just so I can take my measuring tape and all of that stuff because it will not fit in this bag. I am going to fix me some avocado toast before I walk out the door. And then I'll see you guys in a minute. breakfast looks lifestyle lovers it doesn't look very appetizing but it is so good so um the only thing i did was i took the croissants put it in the oven for like a few minutes maybe two to three minutes added some butter spread it out the avocado and then added some everything bagel seasoning <sighs> okay lifestyle lovers <clears throat> So on the agenda for today is, um, I'm actually already at the location, but I don't know if I told you guys in a few vlogs back, but for my daughter's Christmas gift, I'm redoing her bedding um, in her room. So I just picked up the bedding from the cleaners. It is, uh, well, I'll tell you guys about it. Um, you you guys will get a chance chance to see it in this vlog because i told her that she needs to clean up her room before i go in there um i don't work under those type of conditions so she said that she's gonna have her room cleaned by monday which is mlk day so that probably will be the day that i go ahead and get everything set up but i need to get a few items for her room i'm going to get her a new sheet set um, I need a duvet insert as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a little running around. I think the first stop will be Ross. And then I'm going to go into Target. And um, I may even stop to my client house while I'm out this way. I'm going to text her and see if she needs anything that, you know, that she needs me to do or come check up on. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to take a little field trip, go into a few stores, do some shopping, and that's pretty much it, Lifestyle Lovers, for today.
lifestyle lovers happy sunday today is sunday it is the third day of the weekend vlog so what time is it it is 11 31 so i'm just pretty much not necessarily rolling out of bed but just kind of getting up and moving around i'm getting ready to clean up the kitchen it is a mess um i don't know if i told you guys but Mookie is with his dad this weekend, so I pretty much spent the weekend kid-free. <laughs> Just um, catching up on some things around the house, doing some editing, trying to get some content ready to push out for you guys next week. So I'm getting ready to film a cleaning video, and I don't know what's on the agenda today. I am going to share with you guys what I picked up yesterday. I caught a little footage from being out shopping but the stores were so crowded yesterday i don't know if that's the the rush of returning stuff from christmas but anytime crowds give me anxiety so you know and then with covid on top of the germs and all this stuff like that i just decided to put my camera away and just not film but i am going to show you guys what i picked up and then we'll just see what uh today brings i know that i am not cooking sunday dinner so i do have to find me something to eat but i don't know what it's going to be and i think that's it but other than that lifestyle lovers i'm going to get to cleaning and i'll check in with you guys later I'm trying to find the best lighting because is that is that that's okay okay lifestyle lovers so i am still in my pajamas it's probably about five o'clock i'm not even sure what time it is but i've been cleaning up all day i clean my room i clean my bathroom i clean my kitchen and i filmed a kitchen clean with me so you guys check that out um so i pretty much have been cleaning all day but i do need to pick up a few things from walmart that i didn't get from target yesterday i just want to share with you guys what i picked up um this is pretty much the duvet that i am gifting to my daughter um i bought this from z gallery i paid a lot of money for it and she has always loved this duvet when i when i had it she pretty much tried to buy it off my bed but um i got it dry clean so i'm gonna get this to her when i redo her bedding and so let me see let me back y'all up honey so what I picked up from Ross was this not not Nautica down alternative comforter. So this is what I'm going to use to insert into the duvet. And I did not find a sheet set for her, so I still have to get that. I have either today or tomorrow in order to get that. And what else did I pick up from Ross? Okay. So I also grabbed the cinnamon dolce uh syrup from Ross. I was looking for this dolce syrup during the holidays i went to several stores was not able to find it walk in ross and here it is so this is has a real good flavor this is what you use to make the apple what it is the apple cider spice uh starbucks copycat recipe you need the cinnamon dolce syrup so i have a full bottle of that i did have a smaller bottle that came in a two pack but now i have the full bottle and I also picked up a 2021 planner. It was only $8.99. I am going to repurchase me a happy planner, which is what I had for 2020. And I love those planners, lifestyle lovers. Um, but I have not been able to get another one because when I went to happyplanner.com, most of the ones that I wanted was sold out. So I just went ahead and grabbed this one. I may just use this one for work far as my work goals and all that stuff and then i'll use my happy planner for my personal personal goals and i also picked up this book it's um a morning and evening devotional and it is titled a little god time for women and i picked this up from ross it was 5.99 so the one for january 17th is called troubled heart so i have not read it today but i got to make sure that um i read it but you know it's just 
The introduction to the book says, a little God time can make a big difference in your day from the minute you wake up to the moment you lay down to sleep. This morning and evening devotional provides you with godly wisdom and insight to strengthen your faith and encourage your heart. Spend a few quiet moments in the presence of God each day and be refreshed as you find the hope, joy, peace, and strength that is abundant there. So I'm going to make sure I keep this in my nightstand by my bedside so I can, you know, just read this every day. And I also purchased some cleaning products. I have the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. I like to clean my bathroom with these because I can just use one to clean the uh, clean the tub. Then I'll move over to the sink. The toilet is the last thing that I'll use this for as well as my toilet wands, which I bought some refills and I can't find them. So um, I hope I didn't pay for them and I don't have them. I don't know where they are, but you know, you guys seen me pick them up yesterday, but I don't know where they are. But um, these are great for the bathroom. So once I do clean, once I clean the bathroom one time, I can just toss it out. And nine of them came in this. I don't remember how much it was. And also, I picked up a little outfit, but it's too big. I tried it on last night. I'll try it on for you guys, but. The, the bottom is too big. I end up grabbing it in a medium. I had the small and I put the small back and grabbed the medium. Reason being, when I grab smalls, I get them home and they're too little. So this one particular time, I put the small back and I was like, Erica, grab your size. You're not a small. The medium too big. So, but I'm going to try it on so you guys can see it. So I'll take it back and if they have the small, I'll exchange it. But if they don't, I'm just going to get my money back. The entire outfit was uh, $50, so it's just something comfortable I can throw on to run errands. And then I have the Neon Air Max, so they will match with, with this. So that is what, what I had in mind when I seen it. But I'll try it on for you guys so you can get a look at how it looks. Okay, Lifestyle Lover, so this is how it looks. It's kind of crop and... It's a cute outfit, but as you can see, it's too big in the crotch area. But let me turn it around so you guys can see it in the mirror. So yeah, this is the medium, but it's too big right here. So it'll probably be cute if, you know, it'll be cute. It has the, um, you know, the, the tight around the ankle, but it'll be a cute little outfit if it wasn't so big. I probably could even use an extra small, but this is too big. And it doesn't have a drawstring or anything like that, which is another reason. I probably could have drawstring it up. But other than that, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just a nice little cute little chill outfit for $50. But it has to go back because that ain't going to work, honey. So, yeah, lifestyle lovers, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to Target or anything like that today, but I am going to go to Walmart and pick up some things. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw on a sweatshirt and some jeans because it's still kind of cold outside. And then I have to get me something to eat because I'm hungry. And then I'll check back in with you guys. But, to, you know, today is Sunday, so it's just clean up Sunday for me. Okay, Lifestyle Lover, so I'm looking back at my receipt just to make sure I didn't leave the um, the toilet toilet wand refills, and it doesn't look like I had it in my cart. I don't know what the heck happened with that, but uh, the shirt was $16. The pants was $34 of the outfit that I tried on for you guys. I got some uh, tissue, uh, Cottonelle, $12.69. This is what I forgot to show you. This was $5.99 and this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the crust, Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. It smells really good. I ran out of exfoliator for my body. So I usually kind of switch between Tree Hut and then the Dove. So I brought some more, but I've never had this scent before. It smells really good. So this was $5.99. And the Mr. Clean Erasers were $6.99. And then I bought some Tide fabric spray that I've been using since I've been cleaning up. That was 
$5.99. So they did not charge me for the wand refills, but I'm going to make sure I pick some up when I go out to Walmart. But I just wanted to come back on and show you guys this, you know, so I definitely recommend it as an exfoliator for your body, especially, you know, when you shave or get waxed or whatever you ladies do down there, this is really good to exfoliate um, within the shower. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I'm just leaving the ATM. I'm getting some money out for the week. So this is $300. This is my weekly budget, but I've been having so much trouble staying within my weekly budget. So I'm, I'm really going to try to stay in my budget this week. Um, it should be enough, but sometimes it doesn't seem like it's enough. So this budget is for like necessities, for gas, for food, um, you know, store runs, lunch, anything that should come up. But lately I, I just, I've been going over. But comment below, if you have a weekly budget, what is it? And are you able to stay within it? Cause that, that, that'll kind of tell me if, if, if I'm really just overdoing it with the budget because i think 300 dollars is enough but i've been having trouble just staying within the budget i really have but i'm gonna try to stick to it um so this will pretty much last me from today is sunday so it'll last me through saturday and then i'll start a new week on sunday and get another 300 dollars, and that'll be my budget for that week but i'm still gonna go to walmart because i need to go to walmart i'm going to go grab me a bottle of wine and something to eat and that's probably going to be it for tonight lifestyle lovers very uneventful sunday hey lifestyle lovers so it is monday night it is the third day of the weekend vlog and the last day of the weekend vlog um i'm outside my daughter's house i'm get, getting ready to go do her bedding as i promised i'm a little bit teed off with her because she has not done anything that I asked her to do. But I'm going to go ahead and do what I promised. And I'm going to take my ass home, you know. So, um, she walk around with an attitude, with a nose all tooted up. Like somebody did something to her. So, um, I don't want to be mommy dearest today. So, I'm going to go ahead in here, do what I promised. Um, I have a car full of stuff. As you guys can see, you know, that's the duvet that I bought, pillows, you know, just some things that I purchased from Home Goods today. I did want you guys to get a chance to see it. That's kind of why I um, wanted to go ahead and get it done before I close the vlog out because I know it's going to be pretty. So I'm going to try to catch some footage of it and then we'll go ahead and, um, and end the vlog. So, yeah. Y'all, look who I got with me today on MLK Day. They been asked about you. Tell the lifestyle lovers, hey. Say hey, lifestyle lovers. Say hey, lifestyle lovers. They been asking about Baby King. Say hey, Baby King. Say hey, Baby King. Okay, lifestyle lovers, so I made it back home. Um, I'm going to insert pictures of my daughter bed i'll insert a before picture which is basically the bed completely cleared off you know with the mattress and i will insert an after picture i end up leaving the throw home so this is what the bed looks like minus the throw hopefully once she gets a little bit more organized i can um <laughs> show you guys a better picture but this is all i have and i just wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys so you can see how it turned out so here it is She's really excited about it. So she's happy. I'm happy. That's done. Um, I did go to Target and I returned 
the outfit. So I have an extra small in both pieces. So I did a day off vlog today. So I'll try it on in that vlog. So if you guys want to see how the extra small fits, check that vlog out. But I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Tomorrow is Tuesday. It starts a new work week. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.